Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to another Drac vlog. Now, the last couple of vlogs I did were horribly long, and I apologize for that. I tend to ramble a little bit, so I'm going to try and rein myself in here for this one. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about the most recently released animated short for Overwatch. So the second round of animated shorts are out, starting with The Last Bastion. So uh, just to give a little bit of a recap, because I never did the, uh, the Overwatch animated shorts, we have... Recall, which was done with Winston, or which focused on Winston. We had Alive, which focused on Widowmaker and a little bit of Tracer, but um, not so much. I would actually say it's it's not focused towards Tracer. I think we'll get a Tracer one. It's more focused towards Widowmaker. Uh, the next one we got was Dragons, which involved Hanzo, but also involved Genji. Uh, again, I think that was that story was more based towards Hanzo than it was to Genji. And then we finally got the, um, or the final animated short was Hero, based around Soldier 76. So this time around, we have a second round of animated shorts, starting with everybody's favorite favorite little robo turret, Bastion. And I'm not going to worry too much about spoilers, because you can go to YouTube and, and look it up yourself. Uh, I'm just going to go right into my thoughts, which is, I love it. Um, again, this is another wonderful uh, animated short and really just makes me wish that Blizzard would just do a movie studio already They're They're doing really well with these Overwatch animated shorts and all of the other stuff that they've got going for Hearthstone, for Warcraft, for Starcraft, all of that. Um, it, it's just kind of reassures to me that they ought to just do their own animation studio and do a full on Overwatch movie, but they've just, they're, they're not going to do that. I've kind of resolved to that. Uh, for those who haven't seen it, it's the best way that I can describe the last, uh, the last Bastion is that it's Short Circuit meets Wally, -E. uh, and the reason I say that is because when when you're dealing with Bastion, um, it's very much number five is alive kind of kind of feel. Um, you you get to deal with him kind of um, being inquisitive and curious, but also having flashbacks to being a war machine, and. So they, they actually have a really good balance of like showing that inquisitive nature and, and things get brighter and bluer and greener. And then when he's in the flashbacks, things get redder. Um, the best signification is his eye. Uh, so like when he goes into war mode, kind of like kind of like the Iron Giant, too, where, where the Iron Giant, when he pulled out a weapon, his pup or his uh, irises would would close and then he would fire a weapon kind of thing as a protection measure. The, that's kind of the same thing with this Bastion. But in turn, uh, the other thing that really helps this, uh, this short is that it's silent. So the reason I say it's like WALL-E is because it's like the first 15-20 minutes of WALL-E, where it's just silent and it's nothing but visuals. In particular, it's uh, following Bastion as he's trying to remember uh, what he's supposed to be doing, and also this little bird who has decided that it wants to build a nest on Bastion. And here's the thing, the cool, the good Bastion doesn't care. The good Bastion's like, sure, I'll help, I'll even help you. The red Bastion, uh, when he goes into his war flashbacks, well, he destroys everything he touches. I mean, like, there's a point where you get a little woodpecker off in the distance, and he's literally taking that for gunfire. And so at that point, he immediately goes into turret mode and wrecks, like, a good section of the forest. But when he sees that he does it, he's kind of horrified. You can kind of see, like, the way he's reacting to it. He didn't know that he did it. He is horrified. And so I really did like how they, they did the visuals there. And then finally we, we get to a an open field and you get to see his actual flashback where he was part of the uh, the battleground that we've heard about with Eichenwald Castle. Um, and he actually goes out into the field where there's a, there's a bunch of dead Bastion units. And he literally just relives the the battle that went on there. And you can see that he's kind of horrified, but he's also very machine-like. And just in time, uh, the bird comes in and just kind of reminds him that, you know, the battle is over. And now he can just go do what he wants. And that's ultimately what he decides to do. And I thought it was, I thought it's probably one of the best ones thus far. Like, my personal favorite right now is, uh, is a very close tie between Dragons and Recall. Because I do love the inquisitive nature of, of Winston's video, but I also love the story that they were trying to tell in Dragons. Um, and this is right up there. This is this is cute. This is lovable. This is 
a great introduction introduction to the Bastion character, as well as now I understand why they wanted to do Eichenval Castle as the the featured battleground and releasing the last Bastion with it. It it really does work for that. And so, yeah, overall, I, I recommend it wholeheartedly, especially to Overwatch fans. These are great ways to be able to flesh out the story of these characters and can only get better because now we have new characters coming. So who knows? We may even get an animated short for Anna or for uh, this rumored Sombra character. Uh, and I think that's going to go ahead and do it for me on this particular video. I, I'm trying to keep these shorter because I don't want to ramble. But yeah, I do recommend The Last Bastion uh, for those who haven't seen it. I, I have a feeling the Overwatch fans at least have seen it, and probably the Blizzard fans too. But uh, it, again, these are such great quality. I uh, I can't say it enough. Blizzard really needs to make a movie studio and uh, do these professionally. I think they they do amazing. Um, especially, you know, when it's your own studio, you don't have to work through things like, I don't know, Legendary Pictures and have all of those problems. You can just do things the way you want to do them. But again, that's my opinion. Uh, so that's going to go ahead and wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I, of course, will see you guys next time for the next video.